friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to Saturday Happenings for October the 16th, 2021. And I, I know it's the 16th because tomorrow's the 17th and that is our 40th anniversary. I, I think that's super cool. I'm super excited about it. We got a little trip planned, gonna be fun. Uh, got next week off, so kind of fun. Do some videos on the road, just some stuff. Uh, fun stuff. I did get a little bit of a late start this morning on my Saturday happenings, but let me show you why. We're babysitting our son's dogs, and let me call them. Zyla, Echo, come on, girls, come on. Let's see. These are our son's dogs. Come here, Bubby. Come on. This is Zyla. She's uh, so sweet. And then this is Echo, her's a good girl, and Kalua right here, a slobber all over her face. So these are his dogs, and actually at the end of this video, I'll post a picture of Echo, come here. Side is so good. This, oh, that's Kalua, there's Echo, and Echo, hello baby, hi oh, baby, oh, I'm loving you. Take it down. Um, actually, that's Echo right there, come here Echo, see your fat, come on. Oh, yes, Kalua, I see you, yes, slobber, yeah. Come here, Echo. See, Echo is actually a champion dog, and at the end of the video, I'll show you the uh, picture of her getting her award. But anyway, this is why my Saturday Happenings video is a wee bit late. But what a great week. I love this past week. A couple of things. We had a potluck at work, and I'm reminding you guys to check below because there are some amazing Croctober recipes and my recipe will be on Tuesday. And I had that yesterday at a potluck at work. And there was leftover, you know, because I make a lot. And uh, one of the girls came up and asked me. She took my whole crock pot home so that she could have the rest of it. Because it's good stuff. So you'll want to watch that. Check out all the channels. So good. And of course, if you missed any of our Back of the Pantry challenge, um, videos go down and I'll have the links to all the gals that are doing that. They're so much fun, these collaborations. But, so last week, uh, my video was pretty much, I just had the one, um, unfortunately, but yesterday, last week was one of those weeks, but I did the chunky red applesauce. So good. I actually had some of that last night when I came home from work. I wasn't really that hungry and I thought I'm going to have some of that. And it was perfect. It was so good. I could see that for so like on a side with maybe a pork chop or just as a side with a quick lunch, a sandwich or something, it was perfect. So I love that. And I did a video about a gift that I got from a Kathy Hale. It was so sweet. Yes. Let me see. I want to see. Everything's in here. Yeah, I want to make sure. So cool to receive uh, these really cool gifts. I got this mask, and this was perfect because it matched exactly what I was wearing. And this is really nice. I like this style because you can see it doesn't bump up against the front of my face. And I have to wear these at work. And this is so nice. So thank you for that. A really cool pot. It's like a little um, coaster. She said it's a coaster for my drink. So I can use that. Very nice. I like this pattern. I'm going to tell you something in a second. Uh, remind me. I will. Well, you can't remind me, but I will remind myself. And this really pretty handmade card. Look at that. I love that. I've been doing some more Cricut activities, and I can see uh, this is super cute. And she's done some embossing. I've got one of those embosses. I don't know if you can see the pattern on that paper. It's embossed. And I'm just, you know, I, I look at these things, and I, can, I totally appreciate them because I am a hand maker kind of girl. And so these things are really special to me. So thank you so much. I love that. I showed everybody at work. We had to go check it out. And now everybody wants me to teach them how to do these. So these are fun. These are great. And actually what I was going to remember to tell you is, see, my mom at one time owned a quilt store. I'm not a quilter. I have quilted, but I, it, I don't know. It just, I can do that paper piecing. I do that really well and I can quilt. It was just not something that I did except for small projects. As you guys know, like I did the, uh, the bowls, these bowl, uh, cozies right here, which is kind of fun. There's a gal at work who, um, she, uh, she did not know that I had a YouTube channel and I had mentioned it, something about it. And she goes, Oh, I'm going to go check. And so she loved the video on those. She gave me progress reports. So one day she came to work and she said, I went and bought all my stuff. 
The next day she said I started making it. So yesterday she told me that she's made a whole bunch of them for Christmas gifts, that they're super easy. She's not a sewer, but she was thrilled that that was that easy. And she actually sent my link over to a friend of hers who is, you know, uh, not an experienced seamstress or sewer, and she's making them. So I love the idea that those things or that kind of idea is um, getting out to people who can be creative, especially now. It's like, if you think about it, if you've got extra fabric or you can go and pick up small uh, pieces of fabric and things, um, with what I understand that things are gonna be really in limited supply, now is the time that you need to know how to make things as gifts. And I do have a couple of ideas coming up. I did get some unscented pine cones and these are super cute. I got these at Joann's. But I also, my husband was gonna pick up some of the pine cones out of our yard because we have those little tiny ones. And I wanna show you guys how to clean them and then how to put them in the oven so that they dry and open. And then we'll scent them with some essential oils. So that's something if you just have some essential oils and you can uh, pick up some pine cones. There's a really cool little gift that you can make. But also I want to do, oh, I want to do a, it's kind of a hidden seam um, pillowcase. And you know, I'm older, I'm 61 and a half. Um, <laughs> but when um when we were younger like i remember when i got married my husband was in the navy and i was actually in the navy too at the time and my grandma my dad's mom made us pillowcases and she had embroidered along this the edge of it uh, one of them was captain and mate it was kind of cute because we were in the navy um but then my other grandma one time she embroidered pillowcases that had like butterflies on the edge and so you used to give pillowcases as gifts and i know they always come with a set of sheets you can take those pillowcases that come with sheets and embellish them. Or if you're a quilter, what a cool idea to make a coordinating set of pillowcases to go with a quilt. But what I want to show you is a seam. It's a hidden seam. Uh, you can see them. There's there's videos of them on uh, online, but I want to do it. So what it is is a really nice pillowcase, and it's got an accent piece and then the edge of it. And all the seams are hidden and I think this is really cool if you've got someone who has a specific theme uh, maybe a child you can make these in a smaller version if they have a smaller pillow but maybe a kid who loves a certain superhero and you can make them their own pillowcase or um, when my mom and dad were in assisted living I would have loved to have made of course my mom had made millions of them but to make a pillowcase that's just theirs and it's special and it says something about them because of the theme. So that I want to get done. Um, I'll try to get that done this week and do my pine cones. But uh, there is some more recipes coming up. And the gals who do the back of the pantry challenge and I have kind of an interesting thing coming up that we're going to start doing. And it's, it's, uh, it's kind of cool. It's like a price comparison across the country of different items. But we've got a specific plan on how we're going to do that. So look for that. And I am going to spend the rest of my day babysitting dogs. Come here. Echo. Good girl. Come on. Come up here. I want to show your face. God, Kalua. Get down. Come here, Echo. Zyla. Zyla, come on. So our son, come here. Get up here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. There's Zyla. So the thing is, Zyla is X-Y-L-A. And our son is a... Uh, he tree he does tree service work and Zyla is oh, means wood right that's right it's a good girl mm -hmm. and loving you okay get down and yes Snickers Snickerdoodle he's here too he's known these girls since they were all young and he tolerates them but I can tell that when they show up in the driveway he thinks oh god here they are because they never stop they constantly are moving um so it's kind of fun but. Our son will be back. He went to do some tree work up in Portland, and he will be back this afternoon. No, you can't have that, girl. That's mine. Um, he will be back this afternoon to pick them up. So we have the fun of four dogs since last night. So there it is. That's our Saturday happenings, and I hope you guys all had a wonderful week, and I hope you're looking forward to another wonderful week because, you know what? Why not? Let's just all go have a great week. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.